Good day to the audience around the world. Today is Monday, April 24, 2023, and it's now 11.30 p.m. in Taiwan. I'm Fiona Zhang Xinfang. Welcome to the weekly report of Taiwan Weixin Shenjiao, the sagely teachings of the heart at Weixin TV station. Coming up first is the 61-day benediction ritual of inviting 10,000 Buddhas to bless Taiwan on Dragon Head Raising Festival. The ceremony invited 919 spirits of Chinese emperors and presidents, the spirits of the servicemen who lost their lives in August 23rd of 1958 artillery battle in Jinmen, and the spirits from the Three Realms to arrive at the altar. The ceremony featured the rice-built Taiwan sculpture Homa Wangs by other Dharma treasures and fruits and cakes. The virtuous cultivators recited the statement and turned the Dharma wheel together, hoping that the heavenly power of Wang Chan Lao Tzu and the mercy of the Thousand Buddhas may terminate the plague and natural disasters. May there be safety for Taiwan and peace between the coarse thread and the world. Now, let's listen to the holy instructions of Grand Master Hui Yuan Chan Shi. The benediction ritual of inviting 10,000 Buddhas to bless Taiwan since Dragon Head Racing Festival is continuously presided over by Wei Xin Shen Jiao Chanting College at Xianfos Temple. The Taiwan shaped rice mountain are surrounded by five kinds of offerings, taking turns to offer to the spirits of 919 Chinese emperors and presidents every day, and to invite 10,000 Buddhas and immortals to arrive at the altar to jointly secure the safety of Taiwan and the cross trade peace. Let's listen to the illustration made by Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi during the ritual of April 17th. Earlier, Long Tai Tou. 現在已經進行到五十六壇了再過五壇就圓滿了我們感恩萬仙萬佛光降台灣故台灣這段時間來台灣政府和人民殊榮工商百業都還算很穩定來供養萬千萬佛光降台灣共享台灣和諧社會的進步我們向萬千萬佛禀報素龍工商教育的發展在台灣已經邁向人間淨土的佛世界了我們要恭迎萬千萬佛顧台灣首先的條件要莊敬自強所以萬千萬佛光降故台灣大可放心的故台灣今天我們要為萬千萬佛禀報的就是軍事海峽兩岸的軍事非常的緊張無中生有第三國度的挑撥離間那海峽兩岸三組兒女都充滿著緊張的局勢所以我們維新聖教全體維新弟子虔誠的深談
，二月二龙抬头，恭请万仙万佛顾台湾。所以从明天开始，啊，我们法会会恭送一部。海峡两岸一家亲的经文，禀报给万千万佛理解啊！我们唯心圣教的用心和慈悲心、善良心，送三天后最后一天早上，我们请换贝学院。院长严宗禅师和所有法师恭送梁皇宝忏，还提醒一万五千六百一十五姓氏列祖列宗诸祖灵，九百一十九位天子帝王、总统总理诸县灵。三千七百六十二次大小战争，王子军民怨灵，国会众等，皆得静下心来，端坐莲台，静心听闻法宴，和心声，啊，唯愿。九百一十九位天子帝王，灵归蓝天净土，转生西方极乐世界佛净土，各个成佛回去吧，不要在世间啊领悟过去的恩怨情仇。再度发生相互伤害的啊，愚蠢行为。The last day of the ritual is the third day of the third lunar month, April twenty-second, which is also the birthday of Heavenly Lord Shentian of Northern Heaven. Relying on the majestic power of Heavenly Lord Shentian. May the hot nuts of 919 Chinese emperors and presidents, as well as the spirits from the three realms, will be released. Their resentment will be lifted, and finally they could attain the enlightenment. The yoga flaming mouth rite will be hosted on the last day of the ritual to transcend all the spirits of emperors and presidents and the spirits from the three realms to return to the pure land of Southern Heaven. Weixin report, Wu Yunzhen, the headquarters, Xianfos Temple. Take a break. We will come back soon. Coming up next is Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan's footprint. We are following Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan's footsteps to participate in the outdoor education for a Heaven Appraisal Doctoral Program on April 13th at the headquarters Xianfosi Temple. To promote and develop hygiene and feng shui, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan has been dedicated to giving lectures to intermediate classes at branch temples throughout Taiwan. Besides, to help the doctoral students further their knowledge of hygiene and feng shui, the Heaven Appraisal Doctoral Program is set up. On April 13th, Grandmaster Hui Yuan Chan Shi gave the outdoor education for the Heaven Appraisal Doctoral Program, where Grandmaster Hui Yuan Chan Shi detailed the feng shui arrangements as well as geomancy of Xianfo Shi Temple and elaborated how to make months of feng shui of the earth, then applying laws of feng shui to making arrangements of our surroundings. Grandmaster Hui Yuan Chan Shi started with the deity of water of the calabash shaped pond. Pointed out that to benefit from the deity of water of the Wu River, it's essential to build a pond in Xianfoshi Temple that plays a big part in collecting the energy from the Wu River. 
Taking the Pan's in Shenfoshi Temple as examples, Grandmaster Huyun Changshi introduced the students how to set up a pond based on feng shui. As guiding a tour around Shenfoshi Temple, Grandmaster Huyun Changshi explained features of nodes, the position of mountains and rocks, the arrangement of construction on nodes, and energy in rocks along the way. Also, Grandmaster Huyun Chan Shi encouraged students to visit Shenfoshi Temple often to learn more about the application of feng shui while they look at the layouts combining natural elements with feng shui arrangements here. While Grandmaster Huyun Chan Shi guided the outdoor education, the students of the Heaven Appraisal Doctoral Program paid full attention and carefully took notes. The students benefited a lot and appreciated Grandmaster Huyun Chan Shi's teaching. Weixin Report, Yu Huilin, Changjishan Xianfoshi Temple. For this week's Yijin Feng Shui Education News, on April 13th, Weixin Shenjiao College invited academician of Academia Sinica, Dr. Li Fo Mao, to deliver a keynote speech on Plague and Taoism, a historical investigation on the history of religion. During the talk, Virtuous cultivators were allowed to probe deeper into their religious practices as they ponder upon the various facets human beings have presented in religion and daily life when facing the trail of plague and how it has further enriched the religion, culture, and history. The lecture also offered the virtuous cultivators a better understanding and deeper knowledge of Wei Xin Shen Jiao's disaster elimination Dharma ritual, the inspection tour of the Lord of Heaven. Academician Li Fong Mao, an honorary professor at the National Zhengzi University and a member of Academia Sinica, was invited by Wei Xin Shen Jiao College to deliver a keynote speech entitled Plague and Taoism. A Historical Study of Religious History. The lecture expounded on how humanity has dealt with plagues and religious beliefs based on the needs of the believers and explored the historical evolution of epidemics and the resulting religious rituals and classics. This lecture was held in the Royal Classroom of Weixin Senjiao College and attended by Principal Chen, Vice Principal Li, Chair Yuan Tong of the Graduate Institute, Director Yuan Xin and graduate students. Principal Chen delivered a speech first, expressing gratitude for inviting Academician Li to give a keynote speech, and the audience welcomed him warmly with applause. During the lecture, Academician Li discussed the heavenly plague made and how humanity has historical dealt with epidemics. He described how people elevate the natural ecology of epidemics to a divine level and actively sought ways to prevent and overcome them. He also explained how this led to a cooperation between two types of experts throughout history. Medical professionals focus on developing vaccines to solve the problem, while religious groups pray for the end of heavenly plague to alleviate people's worries. This repetitive cycle remains unchanged to this day. Academician Li gave an example of the recent COVID-19 outbreak and used Xi Jiao's evergreen methods, like the inspection tour of the Law of Heaven, to demonstrate how religion addressed the epidemics, highlight the different measures taken by deities and Buddhas to display their power and mercy in the face of epidemics. He also referred to the rituals and mantras developed by Chinese Taoism, such as a ritual to break the epidemic and the recitation of mantras to expel the plague spirits, which have been recited and used in the Wang Jiao ritual throughout history. Academician Li's brilliant and erudite historical research provide insight into the use of religious beliefs in combating epidemics. His presentation received enthusiastic applause from the audience, and he engaged in a lively interactive discussion with them. The lecture was a complete success. Weixin Report, Weixin Senjiao College. Take a break. We will come back soon.
Wei Xinsheng Jiao Taoyuan Branch Temple just celebrated its seventh anniversary since the enshrinement ceremony of Wang Chan Laozu Golden Hued Icon on April 9, 2016. This year, on April 16, Taoyuan Branch Temple launched the anniversary disaster elimination and benediction ritual. The ritual was commenced by Wei Xinsheng Jiao Chanting College Master Yuan Meng along with the chanters. Abbot Master Yuan Peng of Taoyuan Branch Temple led the virtuous cultivators to piously invite Wang Chan Lao Zhu, Buddha's Bodhisattvas, to dignify the altar. They expressed their gratitude to the mercy and grace of Buddha and prayed for the safety of the neighborhood and world peace while they devote themselves into preaching Yi Jin Feng Shui magnificent Dharma and bonding good ties with all the sentient beings. On April 16, Chan Ji Shan Wei Xin Shan Jiao Taoyuan Branch Temple launched its anniversary disaster elimination and benediction ritual. Master Yuan Meng from Wei Xin Shan Jiao Chanting College and all the chanting masters ascended the altar. Master Yuan Peng, the abbot of the Taoyuan Branch Temple, Led the fellow cultivators to wholeheartedly invite the Jade Emperor, Wang Chan Lao Zhu, and all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, saints, and deities to descend upon the altar to receive offerings from the Wei Xing cultivators and the public. They also invited all spirits in the ten Dharma realms under the jurisdiction of the temple to come to the ritual, listen to the scriptures and the Dharma, and receive the offerings. The fellow cultivators of the branch temple demonstrated their support for the ritual by making various offerings before the event. They provided an abundance of delicious food offerings, set up the altar, and arranged offering tables, all in the spirit of generosity to ensure the successful completion of the ritual. The public followed the chanting masters to recite various scriptures with devout hearts. The merits gained were dedicated to the spirits present at the ritual, wishing them to understand the true meaning of the Dharma, attain enlightenment, and follow the Buddha to the Pure Land to continue practicing. Additionally, they pray for the compassionate blessings of the Buddhas to ensure the safety and well-being of all sentient beings within the jurisdiction, for the country to prosper, and for the people to live in harmony and peace. During street steel offerings, offerings were made to all beings within the Dharma realm, with the aspiration that all spirits may be satisfied, relieved from hunger, and receive the compassionate guidance of Buddha and Wang Chan Lao Zhu to be reborn in the Pure Land. Following the ritual's completion, Master Yuan Peng, Master Yuan Meng, and the fellow cultivators celebrated by cutting a cake. They also expressed gratitude toward Master Yuan Meng and all the twenty masters for the dedication for performing the Tahama ritual for the anniversary ritual of Taoyuan Branch Temple. The virtuous cultivators also took a group photo to preserve the beautiful memories of the anniversary ritual. Weixin reports, Zheng Cailing, Taoyuan Branch Temple. It is time to put aside our busy life and let go of our annoyances. Take a deep breath, and together we are appreciating the exhibition of the dragon-shaped calligraphy of 500 Tathagatas by the 80-year-old Grandmaster Huiyuan Chan Shi.
The 500 dragon-shaped calligraphy paintings of 500 arheads painted by Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi had been offered to the ancestral spirits and 10 directions Dharma Run spirits during the 99 day ritual. Now, the 500 calligraphy paintings are exhibited at the first floor of Wen Yuan Cultural Hall. The exhibition is open daily except Mondays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We welcome friends around the world to enjoy the calligraphy paintings and appreciate the martial arts embedded in the forms of the 500 art heads. At the end of the weekly report, it is our pleasure to share with you a prayer for world peace. The Naga Guardians protect the masses. They transform and resolve grievances to prevent battles. We further pray that humanity achieves mutual love and concern for one another and pray moreover for everlasting world peace. Let's follow Wang Chan Lao Tzu's teachings and pursue the Dharma of world peace. Let's pray for ourselves, our families, our careers, and our common homeland, the Mother Earth. Thank you for tuning in today. Please stay tuned at 11.30 p.m. every Monday and 11.30 in the morning and 4 o'clock in the afternoon on every Tuesday for every week's Weixin News on Weixin TV. Wang Chan Lao Tzu bless you. See you next week.